All right, now we'll pick back up where we left off. This is 60B, which is loss of solutions caused by division. And this is just saying that um, in, uh, when we're trying to divide out something from both sides, we're factoring, but if we try and divide something out from both sides, this can lead to us not um, actually achieving all of the possible solutions. So an example of that would be this one right here, example four. Solve two sine x cosine x equals sine x. So instead of using theta, this problem, for some reason, they just use x. But again, they've given us that uh, 0 to 360 only for the boundaries. Um, and then uh, that'll be our work here. So uh, what, what we're going to do here is we're going to solve by factoring. So take this problem. We're going to subtract sine x to the other side. That way, we can see that there's a sine x from both of these, so we could take it out. If I took sine x out, the 2 and the cosine would still be there. If I took that sine x out, that would be, uh, the only thing left would be the 1, because the sine x was taken out. So factoring, we get two possible solutions. Sine x could equal 0, or this 2 cosine x minus 1 could be 0. And that's important because this gives us two answers, like we talked about in previous questions. And then this one is also going to give us two answers. We'll add 1 and divide by 2 to figure out what cosine will be. Cosine is 1 half. And uh, from what you remember, hopefully, that would be a 60 degree angle. And cosine is positive 1 half. And the, uh, remember, cosine is left right. So in quadrant 1 and 4, so I took my 60 degree angle in quadrant 4. So 360 minus 60 would be a 300 degree angle. So my four answers are 0. 60, 180, 300, we usually just write them in, you know, in increasing order. That'd be the only thing. Uh, again, the idea of what this section is saying is that if we look at this and just say, well, let's divide cosine from both, or I'm sorry, divide sine from both sides right away and just get that, that would have left out these two answers we wouldn't have gotten. Okay, if we had done that originally. So that's why factoring is more important or the better option in these types of trig questions because we do want to be able to get, you know, four answers instead of two. We don't want to get, uh, leave some out. All right, so your homework will be for, um, you know, that lesson number 60, and you'll do 1 to 30 for Thursday. All right, thank you.